Fund Supermont, your online gateway to unit trusts. How has Malaysia bonds performed year to date? I would say that um, 2016 is actually a rather good year for, for bond market. I think uh, for the first half of the year, bond market already returned, I think, close to 3, three to 4%. Depends on uh, which segment you're focused on, short, medium or long. So I think um, relatively a quite uh, impressive year to start. What is the outlook for Malaysia fixed income for the remaining of 2016? And what kind of returns can a fixed income investor expect? Um, since the bond market have a good head start this year, and um, we were actually still expecting um, this year to be relatively a uh, bullish year for bond. Um, we expect, um, possibly we expect uh, bond market to return probably 6 to 7% this year, um, relatively higher as compared to the past few years' uh, return. How much upside do you see and what are the drivers in the next two years? Um, Okay, I would think that possibly second half of the year will be a bit more volatile as compared to first half, where first half uh, we already see market return quite handsomely about you know three to four percent already. Um, we expect there will be a possibly uh, possible rate cut this year, uh, a second rate cut I would say, um, possibly I would say fourth quarter this year or even first quarter. Uh, 2017 due to the weaker growth outlook domestically and also globally. I think that will be the key driver um, for the bullishness of a bond market. To add on that, uh, we all know that developed markets have all sailed into negative interest rate territory. Uh, relatively, I would say um, the bond yielding in emerging market, especially emerging Asia, is actually relatively attractive. What about the downside risk? Uh, there's actually a few. Of course, um, all eyes is on, is it a possible not further normalization of interest rate by Fed? I think uh, we can see very um, divided view across. I think um, fifth, more than 50% of, uh, I would say, survey investor think that um, there will be no normalization of uh, Fed fund rates this year. And some would think that there will be possible one hike in September or December. I would say that any normalization um, of interest rate in US will definitely have an impact to the domestic market. So that could delay the rate cuts uh, pace in Malaysia if Fed is going to continue their rate uh, normalization cycle. And secondly, of course, is the oil price. Um, of course, um, Malaysia being a uh, uh, oil exporting country, um, that is definitely an impact to us um, because oil price could have actually drive um, bond flows. Um, Malaysia actually have up to 50% of our conventional MGS held by foreigner. And overall, if you price in together with um, Islamic government bond, it's as high as I think 33 to 35 percent of our government bonds is owned by foreigners. Oil price could have been a factor that will actually affect bond flows uh, in the bond market. So that can actually bring some volatility to the market as well. Is there any particular bond segment that you favour within the Malaysia fixed income space? We like um, defensive sectors, we like uh, sectors that are predictable uh, cash flows and uh, with certain probably support on the um, let's say, for example, concession agreement because it comes with sanity of uh, contract. So we like utility sectors, power sectors. We like um, probably toll, matured toll road. And those are the defensive sectors that we like. And of course, these are also the project financing bond that will contribute to the duration of the portfolio. And because with our outlook that we expect interest rate to remain low and uh, possible further rate cuts uh, in Malaysia, therefore we actually prefer long bonds uh, versus um, uh, shorter dated uh, bond. So, and also advocate for long duration for our fund. So therefore, we are going for sectors that actually Issuers preferably issue the longer dated bond. Longer would be how long duration? We look at on the valuation play. Um, bonds that actually longer than 10 years, uh, actually the, on the valuation basis is still relatively attractive.